Um, so before we wrap up, I did want to ask Nicole, would you mind doing uh, like a brief whirlwind tour of some other uh, tools for content and SEO? We'll go a few minutes long, everybody, but I, I don't want to let go. Uh, we've talked about Jasper, but there's some other tools that you're going to love that you're going to want to use that aren't very expensive or free uh, that will help drive your content strategy. So let's let's take a minute and talk about those AI tools and then we'll wrap up. Thanks guys for sticking around. Yeah, so there's one thing that, so Wendy had talked about answering the questions that people ask. And that's something we talk to our clients about too, is what questions do people ask you? Because you should be able to answer every question they possibly have about your brand, your service, your products whether it's your menu and your ingredients in a restaurant, you should be able to answer that on your website. So you want to know what people are asking. And there's a website called Answer the Public. And we've used this for a lot of different things. You can see decomposed granite, what people are asking about that. Um, so it's called Answer the Public. You can do one or two searches for free. Um, we have a paid account because we do a lot of searches. And we check on the search volume for different terms. And this is an SEO light tool, which is easy to use. It has cool graphics and you can see what questions people are asking and the, they categorize them. So here's all the how questions. And when you're doing YouTube videos, how to's are amazing content. And you want to answer people like how to do these things. So how to design an AI marketing strategy. There's only 10 searches on that though. Um, there's 2,400 on what a marketing plan is. I think this is a week. These are searches in a week. So you can see there are some of these things that I may have thought were important keywords, but there aren't very many searches on it yet. And so I might wanna get in on some of these early, like marketing AI only has 880 and the trajectory is pretty good on it. So I'll probably do marketing AI as one of my keywords. Um, prepositions. There's a preposition wheel. Uh, so this goes into just the different types of questions that people are asking. And I, I love this. <laughs> and you can see some of these have no little to no search volume. Um, and some of them have a lot and aren't really what we're talking about. AI marketing tools is on the rise and it's weirdly competitive for pricing on ads. But Answer the Public is a cool one. It has alphabetical order. You can export this as a CSV file and then get a list. So we'll pull the list of the top terms that we should pay attention to. We put it in ChatGPT and we ask ChatGPT to create a list of the top 10 blog posts based on chat GPT searches. So uh, somebody had asked the question of, do you use AI for SEO research? I do not trust chat GPT because it's not trained on the most current information. There are tools that are AI, kind of expensive, more enterprise tools that do have SEO um, like real SEO tools tied into them with AI. And that's with Robotic Marketer is one of those tools. I think they have SEM Rush integrated. Um, but for the kind of free, easy to use, I would not trust ChatGPT to give you the best keywords. What it can tell you is of these search terms, it can tell you which ones people search ChatGPT for the most. And so then we create a list of interesting, like let's just say 10, and then we'll take those and ask it to write compelling blog post titles, and then we'll write blog posts with each of the, the keyword terms. Um, so this is one of the tools. You can also use some Moz tools for free, and that's M-O-Z, M-O-Z for Canadians. <laughs> um, and you can find out of your competitors who's got inbound links, where the inbound links are from, maybe grab some of their inbound links if you contact the, the sites that they're linking from. Um, but Moz Tools has a few, they've got a few free ones that are helpful. Um, so that's a place to look, answer the public. 
I'm not sure if there's any others, Dan, that you want to go into, but I think these are the most accessible for people, easiest to use, easiest to understand um, for a broad audience. Yeah. Um, I know Ahrefs is another just SEO tool that a lot of people use. And then my team was telling me that they wanted a tool, uh, and I don't think we've mentioned it yet. Someone on my team remind me what it was. Oh, no, it wasn't SEMrush, I think, yeah? SEMrush. Uh, yeah. So that was another tool. So SEMrush, Ahrefs, and Moz, I think, are kind of like the three titans of SEO tools. Well, so the Sem SEMrush and... Um, so that one's more complicated. That's a lot more complicated. And you need to know more about SEO. It's not as easy to use. And Ahrefs is the same. It will give you a lot of information if you really want to get nerdy in SEO. The Moz free tools are the light, simple versions. Um, somebody just asked what an inbound link is. And an inbound link is a link, let's say from my site to your site. It's a link from a news site back to your site. It is an indicator of authority on a specific topic, depending on what that link is. And so if I do a press release, I'm gonna have inbound links for whatever I'm releasing to the press. And that's a way you can establish some inbound links and expertise in a a crafted way. You can also ask people for inbound links. So from Dan, I might have him mention me on a blog post, or I might do a guest post on his website, and it will link back to my website. Inbound links are really important because they indicate authority, which is something that Jeff talked about earlier, is that your website needs to signal authority. And with people linking to your site for certain words, that's a, an authority signal. Oh my gosh, that was like the perfect segue to end the session because we 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 started with Google and we are ending with Google. So um, <laughs> the great innovation uh, that Google made back in the day was recognizing that the authority of a website is determined by inbound links. 